Hey guys, what's up? It's the Michael M here, 1997. Here to give you uh, my personal opinion and also a rundown about the Nintendo Direct that just happened on November 5th, 2014. Now, if you don't know, Nintendo uh, had a Nintendo Direct, which I just said, and basically there was some really good news about the Direct, and actually it did surprise me. Um, so let's start off with the first thing that they showed of Nintendo Direct was a trailer for the remake of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the 3DS. Holy crap, when I saw this trailer, it was really, um, I didn't, I never played, uh, Majora's Mask, let me just say that out loud, I never really played a lot of Zelda games in my life, so, there you go for that matter. I never really played it, and I'm really looking forward to Majora's Mask, because a lot of people told me that they didn't like it, because it wasn't like other Zelda games, but that's the thing that I always find unique about it, even though I never played it, is that it's, it's exactly the opposite of the games you need and what I seen footage of it and what the uh, Mr. Satoru Iwata who showed up with the direct was talking about it it sounds like a really unique game and now I get to play it on my 3DS just like I have Ocarina of Time on my 3DS it's just a joy um, it ha ha there is no official release date but they did say it will come out in the year spring 2015 so basically somewhere between the months March, April and May during that time, it will come out, and then you all get to play it. That'll be a good thing. I'm really looking forward to that. That is gonna be a time where I'm gonna be playing my 3DS like crazy, even though I'm still am from Smash Brothers. You know? Um, that's like the really top mark of the entire direct. That's one of my favorite parts of the direct is the intro because the trailer is just outstandingly spooky and creepy and just like not what you expect from a Nintendo game. Uh, especially a Zelda game, which has more darker themes, I heard. And I really am looking forward to it. Um, the next game they showed was Codename Steam from Intelligent Games. Um, that's not how the game is intelligent, as the developer. Intelligent Games, um, made for the 3DS. Um, it's a unique idea. It talks about Abraham Lincoln basically sending out these army soldiers who have steam for weapons to take down aliens. Um, the idea itself is actually kind of cool. So, I'm not really into turn-based strategy games, or just strategy games in general, they basically just won. Um, but, I do think that the game could be actually good, it could be successful. I might not actually play it, because I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big fan of turn-based strategy games. It just doesn't kink for me, it's, it doesn't match. It's like a puzzle piece that doesn't fit in my personal opinion. But the game looks intriguing enough, and I do like the interesting idea and the ambitious product it looks like. Um, it did say it will be coming out soon. Um, I don't remember if there's actual release date for it, but I did remember it would be 2015 as well. And basically, if you're looking forward to that game, you can uh, basically get that game when it comes out. Um, they also talked about Amiibo support for other titles, but th before they went into that, they also talked about the Ultimate NES Remix. That's coming to the, uh, the 3DS on December 5th. Um, basically, if you get the game, you can get this really cool theme that's like old retro NES type of theme. But, the game basically comes with, I believe, uh, both NES Remix 1 and NES Remix 2, which comes with leader leaderboards and leaderboards for online, and there's also challenges that will be happening uh, uh, daily, every day, basically, type of thing. I don't know how long that access will happen. I never actually got the NES Remix games on the Wii U. Uh, shucks, I didn't get it, sadness, but I might actually pick this game up for my 3DS. It looks like a cool game. Um, Will it buy it on Wii U? Who knows? Possibly. I don't know. It's, it's, it's only coming up for 3DS, so let me just uh, clear that out. And they also talked about Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and it's coming out on December 5th. And from, they recently put out a video, a little trailer, for showing 70 different levels that will be happening in the game. And I must say, the, the levels are diverse. It basically it does look like an add-on to Super Mario 3D World, but it, it's like a really cool looking game so far. I'm, I think it might actually look good. I mean, a lot of people may say it looks like Fez and have an idea of Fez, but in Fez you can jump. In this game you can't jump, so that you know. Um, so basically I like the idea of the, um, the, I, the basically the spin-off that this game gets. I mean, it's a cool spin-off. I mean, we need something else that's not just full of Mario, but instead we get Mario characters. So that's a fine thing. Um, it comes out December 5th, and it will actually cost, I believe, 40 bucks. I did see a little price tag in the video. It was hard. It was a little blurry when I saw it, but it said 40 bucks. Now, I'm not late for this direct already, so just don't get mad at me if I say things that are already out. Um, now, they also said there'll be Amiibo support for Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, 
but I don't know what type of support they will, they will have. I mean, they haven't really explained that. Instead, they explain um, support that will be coming to Mario Kart 8, Hyrule Warriors, I mean, basically those two games, but mostly uh, Mario Kart 8. They basically says if you get an amiibo, um, there's 12 coming out on, on the release date of the amiibo, which is the same day as Smash Brothers for Wii. U. Now, if you put any one of those amiibos on your Wii U, it'll basically unlock a racing suit for your Mii character. So let's say you get a uh, Captain Falcon or a Link. Um, your character will be wearing a Mii costume that resembles that character. So Captain Falcon costume or a Link costume or even um, Mario costume, which is kind of cool. It's a cool add-on. It basically adds more life value to the game, just a slight bit, and it makes it kind of cool because you actually it actually teases you to actually want to buy more of these amiibo toys. Um, I don't know how much they actually on how much each amiibo costs. Uh, I think it might cost me around 15 bucks, possibly. I think that's like how much I would pay for amiibo, one amiibo, of course. Um, and that's basically all I know for the Mario Kart 8 edition. That'll be an uh, uh, update. Actually, the updates already happened as the new DLC for the game, The Legend of Zelda DLC, has came out on November 13th, and it's updated and it's already there. So basically, the update is basically with the DLC and the Amiibo update, but it's not the Amiibo is not out yet, so that's just the thing. Um, it also works just with Smash Brothers for the Wii U. You already know how that works. Basically, you could take one of those characters, put it on the Wii U gamepad, and you can basically upgrade your character throughout time. And it basically reacts to your reaction. So if you are a character who likes using items, it will notice that while playing, and it will basically uh, use items against you, which is a really cool technique. So it's basically it's basically an actual AI basically you have with you. And I'm and they also talked about Hyrule Warriors getting uh, amiibo support as well in you know, an update uh, or a software update, which will be available with the Twilight Princess DLC, um, which is coming for Hyrule Warriors. What the Hyrule Warriors adds is, if you put Link on the Wii U gamepad while playing Hyrule Warriors, you will unlock a new weapon for Link, and there's a lot of weapons for Link already, so adding a new weapon is just adds more variety. So what the weapon is, is from the Twilight Princess game, it's called, um, I uh, remember it's called the spinner. It's this really cool spinning thing that Link uses. In the, they didn't show actual gameplay footage of the spinner. They instead they just showed like him jumping, like jumping off of the spinner, which is kind of cool. Oh, uh, I can't wait to get. I really am looking forward to getting the Amiibo now. I wasn't really convinced really that much when I saw it at E3 because I thought it was like maybe it's just towards the Skylanders, towards Disney Infinity and all. But man, after this E3, uh, this Nintendo Direct. I am convinced. I am convinced to buy uh, a Nintendo Amiibo. I'm definitely gonna get a Link Amiibo just for the fact that, just for the fact that I can get um, a Hyrule Warriors new weapon for the game, which is kind of awesome. And it's and it doesn't only stay stuck to Link. Actually, there'll be other characters that you can play. So you can play like characters like Mario and actually other characters. Basically, the same characters that work for Smash, I believe, or Mario Kart, will also work for Hyrule Warriors as well. You won't get like weapons for the characters like Mario isn't in the game, so you won't get like a Mario Mushroom gigantic attack or anything, but what you will get is um, certain materials, certain weapons, or certain like costumes or rupees designed for that certain character. Um, it's basically in an update, so you basically have to wait for that update, which will come out at the same time as Twilight Princess. Um, next topic to go over is basically Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. They're talking more about Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. And they haven't said an official release date, but they did say February 2015. When I mean official release date, I mean actual day comes out. What we know is February 2015 is coming out. I was, uh -huh, I didn't really look, I wasn't really kind of that hyped about Kirby and the Rainbow Curse at E3. But, at, but it looks interesting. I mean, it's a different type of Kirby game. It was kind of the same uh, thing I kind of felt about Epic Yarn. I thought I was like, oh, it's okay, it's a new type of game. And when Epic Yarn came out, I fell in love with Epic Yarn, so... I feel like that this developer who's working on the Kirby game actually has some cool ideas up their sleeve. And it's also going to be, I believe, four player multiplayer with the game. So that'd be cool how to do it with this type of unique type of gameplay style that they're working up with. It's kind of cool. With this. I'll see what they can do. Um, next, talk about is um, Duck Hunt is coming to virtual consoles. And there's also a topic about Nindy Games. Uh, Nindy Games, what is basically, um, how can I say it? Nintendo indie games that will be coming in like basically indie games that come to Nintendo consoles like Stealth Incorporated 2, um, Shovel Knight, which is really a lot of people are talking about. I was really having fun with that. They also announced that Persona Q is coming to the 3DS in a 3DS bundle soon to USA. So that's kind of cool. 
Island. They also talked about another third party uh, game, basically Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. They didn't talk about it, but they showed the trailer of these two little cats, I believe. These cat creatures, they never played Monster Hunter, so these cat creatures. They have Mario and Luigi costumes, and I basically died laughing. It was hilarious just to see those costumes and see those characters in those costumes. It's just hilarious just to see it overall. I'm looking. I don't play those games. I always believe those games like are not my type of game. Due to the fact like it's, I heard it's like super hard, and I don't want to break my 3DS. Okay, I, I, there's already a crack in the front of my 3DS. I don't want to break it anymore. Um, so who knows? I might pick it up. And then they also showed uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, who was talking about making Pikmin short films, actually. And I actually got mine on the Wii U, which cost $5. It's also on the 3DS for $5 as well. There's no cross-buy, which kind of is disappointing, but I'm okay with it. And, and basically, if you think it's worth it or not, it's actually worth it. It's 20 minutes of Pikmin short films. Not each, it's just it's all together. Plus, there's a flip note studio, like study notes of how he did it. It's just really amazing to see that, and, and I love Shigeru Miyamoto, he's a great creator, he's been producing games for a really long time, he produced Pikmin, so that's a good thing, um, and if you never got a chance to play Pikmin, Pikmin 3, or you thought that you wouldn't be into it, there's also a Pikmin 3 demo out on the store now, and you can basically play the demo, and if you play, you get the full game, I think, in the demo, all the content that you got in the demo will transfer to the real game, which is a kind of a rewarding uh, demo, so that's kind of cool. Next, they talked about Xenoblade Chronicles X 2015. Um, not really. I don't. I never played Xenoblade Chronicles. I might pick it up. Who knows? Maybe Monolith Software. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick it up. I have mixed opinions on that because I never really played it before. And then they talked about the Splatoon, which is going to have a single player campaign when you fight Octopus. And then there's going to be a 4v4 multiplayer system will be coming out. Um, it'll be coming out on quarter 2, 2015. Personally, I think that Nintendo is really gonna make it. They're gonna like make it hard in this year. They're gonna make it in 2014. They're gonna make it up 2015. You know, for their mistakes for the first two years of the console. Not the first two years, but the year and a half, basically, of how there's lackluster titles. Now they're bringing all those titles here. I actually wish they actually showed footage of Yoshi's uh, Wooly World. I wish they showed more about that. Talking about how the Amiibo support would happen. Or the amiibo support of Mario Party 10, maybe. Who knows? I mean, I would like to see that again. Who knows? Um, basically, guys, that's all they showed. And I'm really looking forward to all their titles, except a few of them, like I said. Hopefully, you guys actually like this video. Comment below and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And just thanks for watching the video. Check out my other reviews. Check out my news. Check out my playthroughs, walkthroughs, and even more. And I'll do another video kind of like this when it comes to, like, news or my personal opinions about some news that came I won't do news fully, because that's just, like, starting out on the movie, in my opinion, but I will do news every once in a while just to talk about it. Alright, alright, folks, this is D. Michael 1997 signing out.